What is up guys, it is Farzee here, and today I have a really fun video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna show off my oldest Minecraft worlds. So I'm on the Xbox version of Minecraft, because when I first started playing Minecraft, I didn't have a PC. So here I am, these worlds have really recent dates, but I downloaded these all last night, so the dates don't matter, these worlds are probably like at least 4, maybe 5 years old. Now there's 3 worlds I have saved, I remember one of them, the other two I'm not so sure, but I might have some more worlds to show you depending on if I can get my friends to open up their servers. Because back in the day, we all kind of took turns hosting servers so I have some worlds my friends have some worlds so we'll see what we can show off today but first off let's start off with the co-op server oh here we are here we are oh man okay so this was a co-op world with one of my good friends and Oh, look at the giant pickaxe. So basically, you might recognize this house here, this kind of like ocean beach themed house. I made this here for the first time. I had my chests on the roof because I couldn't fit them anywhere else and can't even open them for some reason. But man, this place was so nostalgic because this was like one of my first really good house builds. So I'm proud of myself for this one. We have a nether area over here, like a nether island. Whoa, you can actually see across the ocean now. Back in the day, I recall you couldn't actually see that far, so this is kind of weird to me. Wait, why are all the chests broken in half? I'm going to assume that that's just like a glitch when you port worlds over, because these are like Xbox 360 worlds that I just got on Xbox One. Look at this ocean bridge. Okay, I gotta get on track now. I'm kind of all over the place. So, first off, here's the house. There's this giant cave here that's really weird and it goes really deep down with animals inside of it. It was like our really strange cave, which is pretty cool. We had some really bad houses up here, so I guess I'll go straight to the giant pickaxe first. This was like our mining shop. Oh, look, there's a villager breeder over there. That must be very primitive. But anyways, we go inside here and let's see it. How does it look? Oh, it's like a kingdom theme. This is like my Let's Play world. This is like the entrance to my cave house, but it's just a little bit more open and interesting. We had a lot of cobblestone, and for some reason we had... I don't remember having minecart system. Do I have a minecart system here? No, but still, anyways, this goes all the way down, and eventually it leads to like a giant strip mine thing. I guess I stopped caring about the stone brick at some point. <laughs> and where does this end? We're going very far down. All right, here we go. Okay, so it leads to just a strip mine. Okay, that's kind of boring. I thought that was going to be kind of cooler. <laughs> but this world was one of my most played worlds ever on Xbox. I'm so mad that unfortunately my most played world ever on Xbox is gone. I don't know how to get it back. It's long, long gone. So I can't show off that one, but this is still up there. Whoa, zombies, take it easy. I kind of want to just see, like, what was this all about? Can I get up here? Oh, I can't. Uh, whoa, okay, this was easy villager breeding back in the day. You just throw them all in a giant pen with doors and that's it. <laughs> and there's a cow in here. Well, anyways, on to our next building, which I believe this was just like a house, I think. Oh, no, it's a farm. I hear animals. Yes, it's a farm. Does this look familiar, guys? <laughs> you can see a lot of my Let's Play builds kind of take inspiration from my past. Like, I have this giant log thing and a giant cobble roof in my own Let's Play world, so this is just like a more primitive version of my farm in my Let's Play world. Okay, can I go on peaceful? This is kind of annoying. How do I go to peaceful? Survive. I'll go to creative. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes, okay. I'm on creative mode now. Okay, boom, we're back to it. So, over here is our automatic farm, which back in the day was a huge accomplishment to make a farm like this. I think my friend actually made this, so this was not my doing, but back in the day, this was like mind blowing. It was like, oh my God, you can auto mine carrots. That's crazy. And now this is like outdated. Does it still work though? Can I press the lever? Uh, no, nothing. Oh, R.I.P. So going back towards the house, we have this giant ocean bridge, which I believe leads us, yes, I believe right, to a mob XP farm, one of my specialties. As you guys might have noticed, 
my channel revolves a lot around mob farms and back in the day on my old servers with my friends that was like my thing farzy was the xp farm guy he'll make you an xp farm and as you can see i made pretty good ones now i'm pretty sure this world had more stuff to it but i kind of forget okay let's go to the end of this bridge i see cacti i guess this is a cacti farm um Huh. I feel like there's a lot more to this world, unless it didn't fully transfer over. I saw a rail cart system over here. I wonder where that leads to. Down here. Ooh, spooky tunnel down here. What's down here? Oh, wow. Where are we? Where is this taking me? This is super far. Where is this going? I'll probably to like a village, I would assume. How did I have so much iron? I didn't have an iron farm back then. I'm going across an ocean now. I'm out of render distance. Okay, we go up here. Oh, and here's a village. One of the old villages. Okay, so I transported villagers over here, which apparently took a lot of rails to do. <laughs> Wait, do they still have these things in Minecraft? These wells? I feel like they don't. Well, that about does it for this world. Let's go to the next one. So this world here is just called New World, which makes me think maybe I didn't play a lot on it if I didn't rename it, but fingers crossed. I don't even know what it is. Oh, and we are in a little cave with nothing. And I see a normal, like, new village with a well. So I guess my theory was wrong. Uh, but this world seems to be nothing. Okay, so here is the second co-op server. I had a co-op server, then a coop server. I was not good at grammar back in the day. And, oh, I fell off a house. Hey, a little cute house here. Okay, I remember this house. So this server is nothing too special, but I made this house and it was one of my first attempts at like being a very creative and like innovative builder. So you see like the beds are like kind of up on stilts and like the outside of the house is super just like oddly textured and I have these like dimensions to it with the stairs. It was my first attempt at like really trying to be a good builder if that makes sense. Because for most of my Minecraft life I was just building like boxes or like underground houses or underwater houses but this is my first attempt at like trying to actually be a good builder which is pretty cute. <laughs> Okay, so I just got in contact with one of my friends who owns one of our old servers, and he's letting me go on it for this video, so awesome! And here we are! Okay, so this server is probably one of the bigger worlds I've ever played on. There's a lot of stuff in this place, so let's go through it already. So first off, here's the spawn. There's a bunch of, like, very basic looking shops but they're very nostalgic and you guys might even realize that i made kind of like a model of this in my let's play world because i just thought it was so cool and it just looked and felt so nostalgic so here's a little small shopping area over here what is this uh this is ring bell if close i don't even know what this is what is this sean's house okay so this is my old friend sean's house and i guess he had like an underground area here pretty cool lots of cake what? What does this do? Oh, it's a little bit of a trap. That's pretty cool. So you can close the door behind you. That's awesome. I like that. All right, so that's Sean's house. Up here is a giant farm. This farm, it looks a little bit ransacked right now, but this is one of the biggest farms I've ever seen on a server. Like, look how long this farm is, and it goes up tons and tons. I can't go up ladders. What I was saying is tons and tons of levels, and this used to all be active. I guess now it's not, but when this was being played on, this was all active, and apparently it's busted into, but regardless, pretty cool. Right outside the farm is this amazing little pool house with a great looking pool with lights, a dog and a boat, which was not mine, and I think this was my friend's house, I think. Was it my house or my friend's house? I think this is my friend's house. This server is super old. You can even see from like the snow in the desert. It's just super old and outdated. So a lot of this stuff I kind of forget, but there's just so much memory and just so many cool things that happened in this world. Oh, look at this. Look at the lighting with the glowstone. So primitive and awesome. What is this? Mob loot. There's a gravel pathway which leads up to the mountain base. Here's some horses and whatnot. The mountain base I remember very well. So this place was like a very 
interesting place to live in. Like you can see, this base is not like crazy interesting or like crazy like built out and amazing, but it was just a fun place to live in and you know have friends with and play in. It was a very like multiplayer friendly base because it was so cool you could go out here and look out at the world and there was like a safety bunker somewhere too. Wow, look up here. You got a nice view. What's in here? Probably bow and arrow. Oh no, just tools. Um, what does this say? Hi there. Hi there. Now I know there was a bunker. I want to find it. There was a bunker that if you were ever scared, you could go into this bunker and hide. Wait, is this it? No, this is a jail. Oh, okay. A jail with an opening. Uh, what's in here? This is... Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. I want to find this place so bad because I think it was called like the panic room and it was just an amazing little build that is it here? Come on. I think it's here. I see redstone. So you click that on. It's all open already. Yeah, the bunker. It's the bunker. Look, it's the bunker. You have some stuff here. The situation room where you'd sit in here and talk about <laughs> situations in the world. This is like the Minecraft equivalent of like the Pentagon where you'd go into like a, a secluded room with like men in suits and just talk about business. <laughs> and we go down here. What is down here? Is this like a mine or something? Oh no, this is a getaway. So if the situation room decided we needed to get away, we'd get away down here and we'd put wood. Oh, and you go in here. Wow, we had everything mapped out. You can literally get away from any situation ever. You open a chest and has anything happened? I don't know, but still, that's awesome. And once again, it's not like this world was like full of amazing, super detailed builds, but it was just so fun to have all these like interesting and multiplayer friendly and just flat, flat out like nostalgic build. Like these are all super nostalgic to me. Now, as old as this world is, I do remember I had, what is this, a minecart system? I had my own base somewhere and I want to find it. I know I had like a separate base where I lived alone. So I think over here I had like a piston underground base somewhere. Maybe I, I don't know, maybe I took it down. I swear I had like a piston door over here somewhere. It's very possible that I may have just taken it down when I stopped playing on the world, but I know I had another base. I had like a mountain honeycomb base, and I'm gonna go find that for sure. Okay, I'm gonna pop into creative mode so I can fly around and make this easier, but I, I'm gonna find that honeycomb base. I need to find it. So basically, at some point in this world, I got sick of living with my friends, so I went off in the distance and built like some weird, super strange mountain base. What is that? Is that like a beacon? What is that? Was this one of my houses? It's all cobble. What's inside here? A ladder. What's down here? Let's see. Oh, what is... I see skeletons. Oh, it's a, it's a skeleton farm. Okay, this has my trackings all over it. As you guys know, I was the XP farm guy. This is old Minecraft for you. Snow in the desert. If you guys are newer Minecraft players, basically when updates would come out, a lot of the times there would be like weird biome glitches where biomes would change. And that's why, is that a cross with a pumpkin on it? Wait, wait, <gasps> wait, I just gave up and I found it. Okay, so this is my base, but it definitely, the world must be older than when I made the base. So basically at some point I made this into like a honeycomb shape and the entire mountain was like caved into like this really cool kind of like a beehive kind of kind of base and again I guess it didn't transfer over because it was much cooler before but still I guess I have all my loot here. Look at all the stuff I had. I was a I was a rich boy. All right, now that being said, on to our next world. All right, so I'm loading up our fifth world, and according to my friend, this world is actually more recent than I thought. This world is only like two or three years old. So I should remember most of this stuff. It hasn't been that long, and here we are. So, there's a giant dirt tower that was my friend Will's. Over here is our spawn. We have some chest full of stuff. We have some sheep and chickens, and we have a horse named Chungus Griffin the <laughs> Third. I don't know why I remember that. So the spawn was pretty cool. I had like a little dock over here that I made, and there was a nether dock that didn't really get finished. And hey, sea pickles. Okay, so I think sea pickles first came out when I made this world. So I was very enamored by the fact of putting down pickles all over the shore. It was pretty cool to me. 
but we go on and over here is the dirt tower which as I said before was my friend Will's and I made him this bubble column so he could get up there faster and I believe up here is just like a giant farm I think I think it's literally just like I guess we'll see nope nothing up here just a pig no farm no nothing what's the pig name Steven hello Steven Stop, Steven's all over the place. Lots of grass. Okay, okay, lots of stuff going on here. So let's pop back outside. Now here's a familiar sight. I remember this. Do you guys recognize this treehouse? Well, if you don't, this is the treehouse in my Let's Play world. As you guys have seen as a theme the entire video, a lot of my old worlds contain my current builds in it. This is the first time I ever made like a mini treehouse, like the birch one in my Let's Play world, and I really thought it came out great, so I redid it in the Let's Play world, and as you can see, boom, 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 and also I just caught a glimpse of a sugarcane farm. And I know over here I had a farm of some sort over in that direction. And whoa, glass floor. Oh, I remember this. So I wanted to make like an underground nature exhibit with like a glass roof and check this out. I want to be able to like walk over nature and look down at it. So it came out pretty cool. Ow, lag right there. But yeah, that was nostalgic right there. And as I said before, over here is <gasps> the floaty pig. Creeper, don't do it. It's a world tour. Don't do it. That was a bad shot. Okay, so this floating pig, he got stuck up here once. He, like, spawned up here, and I never took him down because he was just... Sir Phalange? What does that even mean? Sir Phalange? I'll let you down, Sir Phalange. I got an achievement. Archer. Oh, I killed a creeper with arrows. Okay, whatever. But yeah, that's a pretty cool little throwback there. Sir Phalange. And down this little cobble hut is our XP farm. Because in case I forgot to mention it... I'm the XP farm guy. So down here, I see bedrock. Was the farm really that low? I guess it was. Does it work? Oh, uh, Farzy, Farzy, you failed your farm. Maybe I used a sword when I was down here or something. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work too well, but we got a little enchanting room in here with some chests that are empty, empty, and some cake. What a weird world. Well, yeah, guys, that is about it. Those are the five worlds that I have access to. My biggest regret is that I can't show you one of my older worlds because there's one world in particular that on Xbox 360 days, I played on it for like a year. So it was like very developed, but I just lost that file. So that's the one regret. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you found this video kind of uh, cool. And why is that redstone there? But yeah, I hope you found it interesting. <laughs> So in my strange little skin, I will say, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.